Hey guys, Jacob Scott, Lowrance product expert. Today, we're gonna to walk you through how to use the Navionics app on your iPad to plan routes when you're out there on the water. You can also use it to set waypoints and find those fishing areas that you most wanna see. Okay guys, to show you some of the features of the app, we decided we'd go ahead and use Grand Lake of the Cherokees here in Oklahoma. So what we'll do is we're just gonna set a course. We're gonna start off at this boat ramp. So if we just touch and hold it until we're gonna start there, as you can see, it gives us a choice. We can name this Route 1, or we can give it a name, whatever we want. We'll just call this one Lake Run. And then we can tell it the position we want to start. It'll ask us, do we want to start in our current position? Or do we want to start where, again, where we put this point at? So we'll hit the X by current position. So that lets us know we're going to start at the point that we set here. So there's our first point. And we called this lake run because we want to run down to this end of the lake. So if I touch that and I set that there, you can see the little blue line while it works things out. It's a little dashed line. And now, as you can see, it's given us a route with several different turns and curves. Uh, usually when you see a red, that's an indicator of something. Again, this, and when you touch the red, this tells us there's a bridge so that we need to check and make sure we have good clearance. We touch over here. Again, it says there's a little bridge in the area. So again, this went in here and it plotted our course, took us through the turns. Again, we've got the parameters for our boat set in here. But again, that's just one way that you can use this app to plan a route to wherever you want to go to on the lake. Now that we had that plotted in here, you can see our screen is clear. So if we wanted to look at that route again, all we'd have to do is hit menu. And we can see over here, I have one route. If we touch that, there it is, Lake Run. This tells us that it's an 18.4 mile, and then it would take approximately 31 minutes to run. So if we touch that, it gives us more information about it. Um, it kind of shows us everything back up on the screen. So if you wanted to review the route that you did, it's that simple. Okay, now we're going to show you how to create some waypoints using the Navionics map on your iPad. They're really simple to do. What you're going to do is you're going to touch the screen, you get the crosshairs up, and then you touch the question mark. And then it gives you a couple of choices. Here we're going to set a marker. And then we say add. So now we have a marker there and each one that we want to create subsequently, all we have to do is go and touch marker. And as you can see, it's putting the pins on the screen. We're going to go in here and we're going to add probably about half dozen or so. Okay, so now we have all of these markers of areas that we want to investigate further when we're on the water. So this is really great if you're at the house and maybe you're planning on fishing a tournament or something. You can go in here, you can zoom in really far in, you can look at the creek channels, you can look at foundations, and go in here and you can just set these waypoints where you want to. So again, we'll just set a waypoint here. And we'll set one right here. So now again, like I said, we've added several waypoints to this. So when you're done selecting the areas where you want to add your waypoints and the routes that you wanted to create and those sort of things, the great thing about this app is now I can transfer all of this information to my HDS unit wirelessly. Okay guys, so the three important things you need to make this work is you need to have the Navionics Nav Plus card with the latest subscription on it. You need to have the Navionics app on your iPad, and then you need to have an HDS unit. Okay, so now I'm going to re remove the micro SD, and I'm going to go ahead and put it in this unit. Put it in the card slot right there. Close it up. Now it's going to ask me, do I want to switch to the inserted chart card, and I'm going to tell it yes. Now as you can see, we have the Navionics card here, showing Grand Lake of the Cherokees. Zoom out. See, it's all right there. Go ahead and zoom back in. 
right over here. Let's bring that map right up there. Okay, so now the next thing that we have to do in this process is we have to connect my iPad to the HDS unit on Wi-Fi. So I'm going to go in here into settings. I'm going to touch Wi-Fi. As you can see, we have a whole list of units. I know this is the HDSC 16 JMS, so I select it. As you can see, it shows that we've connected to this network. Now, sometimes it may ask you for the password, but since my iPad is connected to this unit several times before, I've saved the password in my iPad. So now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go back to my Navionics charting map. We're going to select menu. You can see here it says device connected. So now I know that I'm connected to my HDS 16 carbon unit. Now sometimes if you're having issues connecting these units together, it may not come up and say that your device is connected and you tried it three or four times. What I highly recommend at that point is go ahead and turn off your iPad and turn off your HDS unit and reboot them. Sometimes when they've been on a lot of different networks, I know I hardly ever turn my iPad off and I know there's a lot of people out there that do that same thing. So turning your iPad off just resets and it usually establishes a connection pretty quick after that. Okay, now we see that our device is connected right here. You can see up here we have one route, eight markers. Now if you look over here at the carbon and we look at our waypoints, routes, and trails, so you can see we don't have any waypoints in this unit, we don't have any routes, and we don't have any trails. So everything that comes over to this unit is going to be coming from the Navionics app. Okay, now you can see here where it says the device is connected. We're going to go ahead and touch here. And we're going to go ahead and start the sync. You can see we're connected, so we say start sync. As you can see, the wheel is turning over here. Looks like it's transferring data. So now it tells me that it's been complete. You can see the check mark that shows that it's complete there. Now this is where it gets just a little bit tricky when you've transferred routes and waypoints and stuff like that using plotter sync. So the next thing we have to do is we need to go to our unit. We need to press the pages button. Then we need to come down here to files. We're going to go to the memory card. And then we're going to go to archive. Now what I want to do is I want to select all markers and I want to import those and tell it yes. Tells me that import is complete. Then I want to select all routes and say import and tell it yes. So now that we've done that, we come back here, we can see the route on the chart screen. We can see that it's plotted all the way down to where we were. We come back up here, we can also look. We can see all of the markers that we put in place are here. So if we hit pages and we go to waypoints, we can now see those seven waypoints that we put in there with the home marker for a total of eight. We can see the one route that we created. It's got 17 legs. Again, just like the app told us, it was 18.4 miles. And then we don't have any trails because we didn't have any trails created on the unit yet. Okay guys, now you've seen that we've done the importing and stuff. A couple things I do want to talk about. The dock to dock auto routing feature that we use to create this route is not available on the HDS units within the United States. So using the Navionics mobile app is a great way to be able to select point A and then point B and the software to create the route for you. Using the mobile app is a great way to be able to set up routes, set up trails. Again, you can use that dock to dock auto routing feature all from the comfort of your house. You don't have to try and figure out how do I bring a 12 volt power supply in so that I can set up some routes and waypoints in my unit. You don't have to bring the unit in the house. You don't have to take it off the boat. You can just use the Navionics mobile app on your iPad do it in the comfort of your home and be ready when you get on the water.